If you want to make a research poster from a document that contains your research material, then create new presentation in PowerPoint, delete everything to create a blank slide. Click on the design tab, here choose your design theme that you like. You may change theme variant if you don't like the default one. Then click on slide size, custom slide size. Make sure the slide is portrait for width and height. I prefer a zero paper size. You can search online for its width and height dimensions. The units of dimension don't matter. You can just copy and paste the width and the height values into the poster slide size dialog that we had opened in PowerPoint. Notice the dimensions in the search result are in millimeter, but PowerPoint changes them into inches for us. Like width 841 millimeter is changed to 33.11 inches. Similar conversion for height. Once you have pasted both width and height, click OK. Next, for scaling, you may choose either of the two options. I chose maximize. To make the slide theme layout blank, right click on slide, go to layout and scroll to the blank option and click it. If you don't like the default color and you want to change it, then make sure you are on design tab, click format background and fill menu, choose solid fill and choose your color whichever you like. Then start putting your content in. Start from your organization logo, click on insert tab, then pictures and choose your logo. Once you have inserted the logo, drag it to the top left corner. Next, you should put your research title. For that, click insert tab and on insert tab, then shapes choose rectangle with rounded corners then click and drag to create the shape after that you can use your keyboard arrow keys to adjust its placement also it would look good if you adjust the logo near the center of your title rectangle you may take your time to keep moving around the logo and rectangle for positioning once you are satisfied with the alignments go to your research document and select the title text and copy it once you have copied the text come back to the poster slide Right click on title rectangle, click on edit text and paste the title text. Change the text font color. If you want, you may change rectangle fill color from format shape menu. Title text may look very small at first, but you can select it and use keyboard shortcut keys as shown on screen for changing font size. Once done, start creating small info cards for the main segments of your thesis. For that, click on insert tab, shapes, rectangle with rounded corners, then click and drag to draw the shape. Next, from format shape menu, set its fill color whichever you like. This will be our info card. Repeat this process to draw another rounded corner rectangle on top of info card for heading purpose. Next, set the heading rectangle's fill color as darker version of the info card color. Once done, click and drag to select both info card and its heading rectangle. Once both are selected, Copy them as this will be our template for all other info cards. Now to paste this template, make sure you select paste with destination theme option and not as picture because we may have to change the sizes of info cards later. Now start pasting and then dragging the pasted info card template as shown on screen. Once pasting info cards template is done, next change each info card's fill color and also make sure its heading rectangle color is darker version of its info card color. Remember, each info card will show summary gist of different segments of our thesis, so every card should stand out. You may set poster background color a bit more lighter to make thesis segment cards look more prominent. Also, you better remove fill color of thesis title rectangle on top of the poster by setting its fill color to no fill. Next. Choose the main segments of your research thesis and start adding text on info cards in the poster. They put the heading text in heading rectangle. It may look very small, but you may change the zoom level from the zoom slider at the bottom right corner. You may change the heading rectangle size and placement as you like. Just make sure heading rectangle overlays the info card at all times. Also set the heading text font size big enough to be readable at poster view level. You can do this change of font size by going to the home tab on the top menu ribbon. After you have set the heading font size big enough to be readable at poster view level, you may fiddle around with the size and placement of the heading rectangle as well as with the size and placement of its info card. If at some point you want to drag both the heading rectangle and the card together, then select both and use arrow keys or mouse to drag or move both together. Once done, add segment summary gist onto the card. After right clicking on card, then choosing edit text later, you may adjust text formatting. And if you have to add pictures in the card, then go to insert tab, click on pictures and select the picture. It may drop the picture in the center of poster. If so, then simply click on the picture and drag it to the card. Just make sure the picture should finally end up completely inside the relevant segment card. 
keep repeating the same process of right clicking the card rectangles and then clicking edit text for adding headings, infos and pictures or charts onto the segment cards. You may have to adjust the segment card size and placement depending upon the length of the edit text picture or chart. For charts, just go to the chart that you want to include, right click on it to copy it and inside the segment card paste it as picture because with this picture way it will be easy for you to manipulate its size and positioning. And if the chart you want to include is bigger in size than the size of the segment card on poster then you should create a copy of the segment card and not create new rectangle. And to ensure that your pasted big chart is visible above the card and not hidden under it you should delete big chart first and then create the copied rectangle. And after pasting the copy of the card you just have to drag around the copied rectangle and resize it and position it in a way that it creates space for your big chart. One more thing, you may face a problem after you have pasted copy rectangle onto the card and that is that it may have a line border around it which doesn't look good. To fix it, you need to right click on rectangle and go to format shape menu. There below line section select no line option. Repeat it for all the shapes rectangles on your poster so they all look the same borderless but with color distinction. Once done, paste that big chart and also keep on adding summary gist of thesis segments onto the remaining poster cards. You may have to do the card resizing and repositioning by simply selecting the card shape and dragging it around wherever you deem fit. Once done, put the thesis presenters or researchers names on the very bottom of the poster and that should be it. Your poster is ready to be presented or displayed in the presentation hall or room. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and subscribe for more useful videos.